Hello, everyone. Many, 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 many people have told me how good they believe real phones software to be. It could be standalone, it could be a plugin. And DeSonic have released an upgrade that they're very, very, very excited about. This is for them a big game changer. Right, okay, whatever, right, okay. They were on version 1.7, they've now moved to version 1.8, and these are the changes. Huge improvement in the overall sim quality. Two new room simulations, club and bar. Standard correction profiles for the most popular headphones updated. Room emulation technology updated. Audio engine update presence and app. HRTF modules are updated, there's a new limiter, latency reduced, bug fixes, which were crackling noise and resampling problems with real phone system-wide windows app are solved, full native Apple silicon support, stability improvements, and other minor tweaks. So let's go in the box and let me show you some of the new features that they've added. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. 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 It's unnaturally, unnaturally true It's unnaturally, unnaturally true It's unnaturally, unnaturally true It's unnaturally, unnaturally true Now a really cool feature for me is the snapshot feature now, as you can see, if you go out of easy mode, you can see that it has kind of like sub menus that are kind of already, it's like snapshots are already done for you. So as you hear, like a mix preset. So again, you could listen to lots and lots of different devices and it's really easy to manage. Now, you can also do this in the easy mode, which I think is awesome. Now, as you'll see on the left hand side, everything's blank, right? So let's put up, say like our main um, listening preset. Now, what I could do is I could take that preset and I can easily just take a snapshot, rename it, and it'll always be there for me. And from there, you've got this menu, and it's got all of the different options you've got. And what I like is if it's got three like different options as well. So, for example, you've got this like low resolution stress test thing. You've got lo-fi, desktop, broomy. I can choose the desktop set, and I can change the correction. I can change other things. Take a snapshot, right click, rename, bang. I've got myself a laptop setting. I could then take a little speaker like what I would imagine to be like an auto tone or something like that. Make it mono, take a snapshot, rename it, mono cubes. And every time I go into that, it'll give me that speaker set up in mono. And even if that's not good enough, we can even add the car, which I think is always a good test to do. You've got clean, normal, dirty. I think the dirty one is probably the best one to go for, but you can go for clean or dirty if you really wanted to. And again, you can just have these all on the left hand side. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the calibration of Sonarworks Real Phones and Acoustica Audio Sienna. Just the calibration. Because what I want to show you is when you are choosing all of these like headphone calibration softwares and like software you can use to recreate like acoustically treated rooms and studios and stuff, you need to know that all the calibrations normally do sound different. You're going to be like, oh, this is pointless. This is fucking pointless. Like, I don't have arguments in dollars. Why didn't you do the headphones? They're the most fucking common. It doesn't matter about the headphone, right? You're still going to hear the tonal difference of each. And don't worry, right? You don't need to have the headphones because I'm going to tell you exactly which one sims the best to my subjective ears. Let's get into it. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. It's unnaturally, unnaturally true. It's 
sun naturally and naturally true is unnaturally 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 and naturally Is unnaturally and naturally true. Is unnaturally and naturally true. Right, okay, so from that listening experiment, right, obviously, depending on the headphones that you're listening to, it's going to sound different, but you could, you're obviously going to hear there's a tonal shift. What Sonarworks does, if you have hyphen and Sandaras, you'll be able to affirm this or say that my ears are shit, whatever. But either way, right, this is what I hear, right? This is my subjective opinion. Sonarworks does what I expect Sonarworks to do. It completely flattens out the frequency response of the headphones. However, the reason I stopped using Sonarworks as much as I was <laughs> praising Sonarworks in the previous video that I did, I just found that it's a little bit dull and it's a little bit unrealistic to mix through headphones that are completely balanced it changes your mixing decisions so yes it does it does sound very flat but it sounds very muddy at the same time and yeah I, i'm not a big fan of it in terms of acoustica audio sienna uh, it just sounds a bit weird that's how i can describe it it's, it's a difference in the high end and it's just it doesn't really sound like my single like i mixed my single that's why i chose it and it's adding this weird high end stuff and it just doesn't really sound like the way it should. Where with real phones, yes, that actually still sounds like my single. Everything still has its place and the balance is right. Where with the acoustica, I don't feel that's right. It just sounds a little bit off to me. But there you go. I actually do prefer the real phones calibration. So here is the real phones preset. If you look in their manual, they actually um, recommend this setting to start on. It's got like a big sub in it and stuff, and it's quite <laughs> it's quite hard to get used to at first. But um, this is the best preset that I found, and I do agree with all the users as well. And in terms of the Acoustica Audio Sienna, I've got it, and it was an HOG hog room with a sub, and I've got like a mix preset in there as well. So let's hear how the Hyphamins and Dara presets compare. Is unnaturally and naturally true. 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 Is unnaturally and naturally. Is unnaturally and naturally true. Is unnaturally and naturally true. Right, okay, there we go. Now, when I say this, remember my opinion does not define the plugin. If you like it, you like it, right? Audio is subjective. The reason that I don't use Sienna is because it has this artificial feeling to me. It, it kind of feels artificial. I see the vocal. It almost feels like, if you've got this, right, okay, I'll, 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 I'll fucking hell, <laughs> all these angles. I kind of feel what the mix does, is the mix kind of goes in on itself, right? It goes in on itself. And because the vocal is in the middle, it kind of hides back a little bit. And there seems to be this separation with Sienna that doesn't sound right to me. Like the bass seems to separate from the rest of the track. And many people may like that. And again, I've got to be very careful because I'm not mixing in a studio. So I've got to be very careful. What I'm doing is I'm giving you my personal opinion on what I prefer to hear. When going back and forth, I just, there's this, against the high end again, 
It's almost like there's a like a like a like a something like that. It's like I don't know if it's in the symbols. It's like a high frequency tone going through it, and it, and it just doesn't sound right, and it shouldn't be there. It's just my personal opinion. It's not for me. Where I hate doing sponsored videos because see when I like it, I just sound like a fucking shill, right? But I'm just going again, my honest opinion. I feel that real phones is probably. Now, I'm not going to say the most realistic, because as I said, I've not got a good realistic reference to put it against, but when I'm listening through real phones and its rooms and its calibration, what it does really well, and again, I suppose what Sienna does as well, to be fair. Now, when you listen to your headphones and it's just left and right, obviously it's like only coming out the left, only coming out the right. Things sound closer to you, and it's like bang, bang, vocal, bang, bang, guitar, guitar, vocal, right? Synth, synth, piano, piano, vocal, kick, bass. Real phones, to me, gives me that nice element of separation where it takes everything from left and right and it's just the right amount of crossfeed where it's, it adds this depth. Real phones has better depth. Uh, many people may disagree with me and think that Sienna has better depth, but I think it's more width, personally, that you're hearing. There's not as much width in real phones but I actually prefer it because I think that's that width that's making it feel a little bit kind of phasey-ish and a little bit like unnatural to me but again I'm being very cautious because I don't have a reference many people use Sienna and like swear by it but from my personal listening experience my mix doesn't sound like my mix and many people may say well that's a translation thing mm, I don't know why is it I'm listening through Sienna and my mix doesn't sound right and it seems unglued where I'm listening through um, real phones and my mix sims the way that it should be. And especially the vocal, the vocal is still there. It doesn't sink in on itself. And the low end as well, the low end just seems a little bit kind of bigger, a little bit tighter, and the transients, I feel like I get a little bit more transients. Where, like with Sienna, it's like, it's almost like I've got a film over it. That's kind of how I see, how I hear Sienna. And that's the reason why I've never liked it. It feels flat to me, which should be the opposite when you've kind of got that binaural HR TF or whatever it is. Okay, it does feel like there's a separation with Sienna and it's kind of like, it's it's different from the headphones and it's got that separation, but it's not got that feeling of the bass kind of surrounding me and kind of things poking out at me. I don't feel that things poke out at me. Like when you're in a room, from what I can remember, when you're in a, a room and the speakers, stuff still pokes out at you, transients still poke out at you. And I just don't really get that from Sienna. But maybe I might be wrong, and that's actually how a lot of these rooms sounds, and I'm ble I'm waffling out my arse, but I was listening to Ariana Grande stuff, like Serban, the Serban mixes, and it just felt like, I don't know, it was just this kind of airiness that I don't think was there, it's like a top end, kind of, it's not harsh, but it just, yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> it's like that, I just can't put my finger on it, but that is just my personal opinion. As I said earlier, I want this channel to be more inclusive, so don't be afraid to comment if you disagree with me. Audio is subjective, but in terms of my overall opinion, I would say that Real Phones is the best that I've heard. I'm not saying it's the most realistic, because that would be... I don't have the correct basis to judge that on. But in terms of listening experience, in terms of listening to many, 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 many different mixes. I feel like I can trust it. I can trust the calibration. I could mix through it. I'm not going to, I'm just going to use it as a secondary reference, but I feel that I could mix through it and I'll still get very, very consistent results as if I was to mix on headphones, which is very, 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 very important to me. I think it sounds awesome, but, but is the upgrade genuinely as good as D-Sonic have been making out? If you have version seven and you're thinking about the upgrade or you've used it before, let me know in the comments down below. My name is Paul Third, and I'll see you again next week.